Hello, my name is Bernard Flowers, and today I would like to talk to you a little bit about advertising and <clears throat> the journey for your customer. Also, uh, we'll explore some of the good part of advertising, the bad, and the ugly part of advertising. Advertising is the only median, medium that you can control. Some of the forms of advertising is television, radio, and some other forms of digital media, say it be social media, or Facebook, Twitter, stuff like that. Also, some uh, another form is uh, outside media, this being your billboards, your cars, or moving, moving uh, advertising, I like to call it, you know, where you put the advertising on the side of vehicles and roll around town, and maybe even your company's logo could be a form of advertising. Another form is uh, print advertising, which is your uh, your newspapers and your magazines, and both these have uh, gone digital as well. Uh, advertising allows you to target ideal customers for your product. Uh, if if I'm in the AARP world, I am going to put uh, a bulk of my money into print advertising newspapers and magazines, mainly because uh, of the older generation is not as tech savvy as the younger generation, so they probably read a little more than, than the younger generation. On that same token, if I want to show off a new toy, I would put all my advertising on television, say on the Cartoon Channel or the Disney Channel, and anybody knows that has small children, they're full of... Uh, things that target for children. Advertising uh, creates awareness to your customer of your product. Um, if you don't tell them about yourself, they will never know. You know. Word of mouth can only go so far. Many advertisers make the mistake of targeting new new customers and not uh, taking them to the whole journey. Instead of focusing on attracting the new customers, they need to think about the uh, different stages of the journey that they need to take the customers through. And uh, some of those are, let's go over some. What exactly is a customer's journey? And how do we go about mapping it out? It's, it's different for each, each customer, each customer is different, like I said earlier, you got the old generation and you got the new generation, so each one is going to be different, so you have to target your advertising style to that effect. 67% uh, of advertising is done di digital nowadays, but like I said, you know, everybody's not digital, so like I said, you got to target cater your uh, advertising to your target audience. Uh, let's start with awareness. Awareness is a stage in a journey. Users have heard about your brand, they've been to your website, somebody told them about it, or you know they, they need it, so they, they start looking. And uh, But they haven't made the purchase yet. This is the stage where you want your want to create your content to to draw them in and keep them in. Maybe uh, they clicked on a website so they got your email. They got something like that. You made that first step. So they might send you some some promotional ideas or something like that to get you get you more into the uh, buying mode. Also when you when you got them in the awareness stage, you want to create your content to tell them more about you, your product or your business and stuff like that. Next is uh, consideration. When the user reaches a consideration stage, they're still undecided whether they're going to make the purchase or not. So it's really important in this phase to engage your content considering your business but haven't made all the important steps for them to buy, so you gotta tweak it a little bit. You 
don't want your content to be overly pushy or too much promotional. Uh, I don't know if you've ever been to a, a store and you, you got a salesman constantly bugging you when you're just looking around, you ain't really you decided yet. You might go to another store or something. So you don't want to be overly pushy. Instead, you want to demonstrate yourself as a leader in the industry and provide your potential customer with content that will help them make an informed decision when it comes time to making that all important purchase. Demos, how-to guides, or ideal pieces of content at this consideration stage as they answer any questions and give the audience all the information they need to make the decision to become a customer. For example, um, in department stores like a Best Buy or something like that, when the computers are on display, they'll oftentimes run demo mode on the computer so you'll see everything that that computer has to offer which will again make a um, make the customer have a better decision process okay next is purchase okay you've done it as an advertiser you, you did all the right things and they are they purchase a title but that should be where it ends because you want the user to become a loyal customer and engage in some other point this is a perfect opportunity to re-engage your customers and keep your brand firmly in the forefront of their minds. You should create some type of content or a way around your products and services to send to your customers so that they will still be thinking of you once they, once they make the purchase. You could automatically send them uh, guides for tips of using the product that they bought, or even send them a discount for first time users. And they, a lot of companies do this as well. You know, they, they'll try to keep you engaged, they'll send you uh, discounts or try to get you to uh, engage another customer so they, they keep the product going. Um, once, they had pro once they had a product for a while, it's a post purchase, it's the next stage. Once you have your new customers, you need to, it's important to nurture them and keep them loyal to your brand. Keeping them engaged is important and showing them that you understand their needs and preferences will help develop the relationship with them and keep them coming back for more. Another example of this is uh, Blue Apron. It's a food service and um, they deliver food once a week, three meals a day, or whatever, however you, whatever program you choose. But, they're constantly uh, sending you menus, uh, you know, trying to get you to re-engage because you can stop at any time. So they left it out there. So you have to, as a as a company, keep your product in the forefront of their mind. So you keep 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 them engaged, even though they they've been with you for a while. You still need to do that. There are many different forms of content that can be ready for existing customers including promotions, news, experts, pieces, and guides. As long as the customer finds your content valuable, they will want to keep reading and engaging with it, building a relationship with you, and strengthening their loyalty. Another great example of this is uh, the Amazon Echo. If you're not familiar with the Amazon Echo, it's a device that you can put in your living room, anything, you just talk to it, and you can have it play music for you, you can have it interact with your television, or you can even buy uh, products from Amazon on it. And you can ask, ask it questions like the, you know, Siri on your, on your iPhone or something like that. But it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great product, and, and I say that because they're constantly sending you emails or texts showing what's new with Echo, what you can try differently, or something like that. I, I like to watch Jeopardy. So you can play along with Jeopardy through your Amazon Echo. Okay, next is dormancy. Even when you're making an effort to keep your existing customers engaged, you, they can lose interest and disappear off radar, making it harder to get them back to return to you. If something isn't working, then it's time to change your tactics and really grab their attention to remind them why they bought your product in the first place. Try to do some analysis 
into their current behaviors to see if they moved or maybe lost their job or remarried or something to that effect without getting too evasive. And uh, things to think about, it's just some things to think about to keep your, con their, your content interest to them. If your customer's behavior change and your advertising strategy needs to change with them. The takeaway, the more you understand a customer's journey, the easier it is to tailor your content to their needs. Personalized communication with your audience is key to developing brand advocates and your content can help you target users different strategy. As I expressed earlier about Blue Apron, Blue Apron is constantly trying to get me to get new customers for them. So if I'm a good advocate for their brand, as they, they try to get me to do, and they give away free stuff all the time, and that's what that works for them. While every organization customer will have a different journey and mapping will be tricky, these familiar stages should help you guide your advertising strategy in the right direction and shape your marketing strategy to reflect the needs of your customers. Advertising amplifies everything else you're doing and it's really important to the reputation of the country. Not com country, country, company. Company image and its role plays an important part. Customer satisfaction is the ultimate goal in any business and this should advertising should help and not hurt to achieve its mark. So let's start with some advertising that may or may not achieve. Let's start with the bad. I say bad because sometimes uh, advertising can have bad judgment. This clip is uh, not about an actual ad, but it's from a movie called Boomerang. It's about an advertising agency and they, uh, they're trying to promote a new perfume. The uh, advertising department went, little, went, went a little bit overboard. In their attempt to accommodate everybody, they uh, kind of missed the mark. As you'll see from these reactions, it is. It wouldn't have went well. <laughs> yeah, he's the only one in the room that's excited. Everybody else is like, what is going on here? Sometimes the uh, you can have uh, the ugly part of advertising, which is not always intentional, but it might be a necessity. The uh, this next clip is about uh, Cymbalta. Cymbalta is a depression drug, and five, two minutes into not even two minutes, thirty seconds into the, the clip, the advertising. You already know what the drug is, you know it's, what it's about. But a minute and a half, I mean a minute of a minute and a half commercial is about the side effects. It's already a commercial about depression. Symbolta so it's already can help. Symbolta is a prescription down, medication that treats many but symptoms part of, of depression. Advertising you is too. Right away, if your depression worsens, you have unusual changes. Reach your target audience, take them on a journey, it's showing certain, certain clips and it might hit, hit home to some people, but it's depressing. <laughs> you know, a lot of drug companies put their uh, products on, on uh, 
on television and problems some fatal were reported signs include abdominal pain and yellowing of the skin or eyes talk with your doctor about your medicines yeah, including those for migraine or if you have high fever the the part of don't dress a possible yeah. life-threatening condition tell your doctor about alcohol use liver disease and before you reduce or stop taking cymbalta dizziness or fainting may occur upon standing right. side effects include nausea dry mouth All and constipation stuff. ask your doctor about cymbalta yeah, i'm gonna rush to get health. this drug cymbalta can help The, um, this next clip, it's another commercial that meant to yes, do I well, but they got a little people stirred up, little certain people heart. stirred Is up. That true? Says here that Cheerios has whole grain oats that can help remove some cholesterol, and that's are healthy. People focused on the biracial couple and didn't focus on the importance of the, the, the clip. I want to pause that. That's a good. I just want to go back to the other the other commercial. The uh, company's image is very important. As you notice, um, every time a, a sports celebrity or, or an entertainer gets in trouble the company immediately pulls their endorsement for sake of losing customers. Uh, you remember Kobe and his thing he had with infidelity, also uh, Tiger, uh, remember Don Imus with his, his comments, and also uh, more recently, O'Reilly. The companies almost immediately drop these guys for, uh, they didn't want to lose any customer for something they, the customer might thought was uh, immoral. Now for the good. Thank you for your time.